All right, so in this section, we're basically going to add the functionality for our tasks. We want to be able to create, update, and delete tasks. And tasks, aren't, they're not going to have their own index view like, like the list does. We're not going to have um, this go to slash task and then show a list like we are here. What we want to do is have that inside of the list, have a list of tasks. Uh, what we do want is a show function. We want to be able to go to tasks slash show and then the ID of that task. And I went ahead and created just a couple tasks in PHP my admin. Uh, all right, so let's create this show method so we can view a task. And the first thing we want to do is create a task controller. Save this as tasks.php. We want a tasks model. And let's create a view folder for our tasks. And for views, we want a show view. Uh, we want an add task view and an edit task view. All right, so we can close those for now, the edit and the add. Now in the controller, let's go ahead and say class tasks. Oh, this should be a capital. Extends CI controller. Whoop. And we want to have a public function of show. And that should take the ID, which comes from the URL. And we want to grab the t that task info. So we'll create a data array value of we'll say this task actually we'll just call that task which will be equal to this db I'm sorry not this db this task model get task alright we also want to find out if it's complete and actually no, we can do that from within the view using this. All right, so let's create um, the get task function in the model. Whoop. Extends CI model. Okay, so we want to get a task. Um, now, we're going to want to actually do a table join. We want to get the tasks, and we also want to get the, the list. So we'll have to join the tables and lists, but I'm, I mean the, the tasks and lists, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that probably in the next video. So I'm just going to simply grab the tasks for now. So query equals this db get from tasks and we want to say this db where id is equal to id and return query row alright so now our task info should be available to us. Uh, we need to, to link the view here. So let me just paste that in. Okay, so this will be our task show view. Let's test this out. Alright, so we get to register the task model with the auto loader.
Man, that's the last model that we'll be creating. All right, so we're in the show view. We can now grab this ID um, and all the other information. I'm gonna paste this view in. Basically, we'll have some actions just like we did with the list. Uh, and we'll show a list of the tasks. So let's save that. I'm sorry, not a list of the tasks, but the information to, that has to do with this particular task. All right, so here's our information. Uh, list name. So this is something we're going to need later on. So let's uh, get rid of this, which is just a link to the to the list, just to get rid of this um, error for now. And then this one, undefined, is complete. Task is complete. All right, so my original version, we had uh, a model function to get the completion, the is complete. So we're going to do that here. Uh, we're setting a data called is complete task model, and it's going to be called check if complete, which is going to be really simple. So I'm just going to paste that in. We're just saying where ID. Uh, the task table, we want to return the is complete. All right, and that should get rid of that. All right, there we go. All right, so we have, we're able to show a single task. What we want to do now is we want to be able to add, ta add a task. All right, so if we click here, we should be able to add a task. And if you look at this add, we're saying add one. This may look a little funny, but what this one is, is it's the, t the list ID. And you can see that in the view, we have task slash add slash list ID. All right, so that's why that's there. Because obviously, if we had a task ID, we wouldn't be adding a task, we'd be updating it. So. Let's go ahead and create the add function. And we can paste that in. Validation, all the same kind of stuff we've been doing. We're getting the list name for the view. So get list name. We can get that through the task model. So let's do that. Okay. That's really simple. We're just returning the list name, and let's see what else do we got here. We want to get the post data, and then we're inserting that using this create task method in the model. So we'll do that. Actually, what's this? That shouldn't be there. Alright, so we're just going to insert, simple insert statement, and we need the form. Let's go ahead and go to the task, uh, the add task view, and I'm going to paste in the form. This form uses the form helper, just like all the other ones. Okay, so if we save that. And let's see. Unexpected get list name task model 15. Public, oh, forgot the word function. All right, it's still not working. Uh, let's see, tasks, add. Not sure why. Hmm. Let's 
So the view, we created the view, which is add task.php. Did I not save it? All right, I must not have saved it right because now it's working. All right, so we have add task, we have the list, which is family stuff. So let's see, pick up son, we'll say pick up son from baseball. And that's going to be tomorrow. Add task. And, huh. Let me just let's look at the database, see if that went. All right, so it did show up. We don't have our tasks listed on the in the list page yet in the list view, um, but I want to make it so we get a message. So let's see. This is setting this task created. Whoop! This task created message. So and that's in the show view. All right, so it's going back to show list slash show list ID. All right, that's good. Um, so we want to go to the list show, and I'm actually going to paste in a bunch of different um, messages. So when a task gets deleted, created, updated, marked complete, marked new. So we'll save that, and let's try to add another task to this family thing. Um, say dinner with wife, going out to eat with wife, and that's going to be Sunday night. All right, so there's our your task has been created. Now we're just not seeing them because we haven't added that to the list view yet. Now what I want to do is create the edit task. So up here we should be able to say tasks slash edit and then the, the ID of the task. So let's do that now. If we go to the controller, I'm going to paste in the edit method. All right, so we got a few things here. We're going to get the task list ID. So we want to create this method in the model, this get task list ID. So let's copy that and paste that in. Oop. Public function. And we basically just want to grab the ID of the parent list. Okay, so we're going to say this db where. And we want to match the ID to the task ID. All right, and then we're going to create a variable called query. And we'll say this db get, and we're going to grab this from the tasks list. And then finally, we just want to return the row. Return query row. And we want to grab just the list ID, so we'll add this on. Alright, so that's that. The next one we have is get list name. And we're passing in this, uh, the list ID that we fetched. Okay, so let's go back here. And we actually already have that right here. So get list name, it's being passed in the ID. And we're just saying where the ID matches this list ID. Uh, and we're going to get that from the list table. And ultimately, it's just returning the list name. All right, uh, this task is going to grab just the task with this ID. 
So we want to create that in the in the model. Keep doing that. All right. So get task data, and this is another really simple query. All right. So we're just getting the task with the ID that we pass in and we're just returning the entire row so we can use whatever data that we want All right so let's save the model and then we're just gonna load up the edit task view which is here which we haven't created yet so I'm gonna paste this and we're using the form helper once again it's gonna be submitted to task slash edit and then the the actual ID and this this URI segment is getting the third segment of the URL uh, which will be the ID okay so this is the second segment this is the third alright so let's save that and inside our list we don't have a list of tasks yet we still have to do that so the only way to access the edit uh, is to manually type it in up here. So we'll say tasks slash edit slash one. And that gives us the edit page for the for the task with the ID of one. Okay, so that looks good too. Alright, so let's um let's try it out. We'll change the title to uh, parents dinner. And we can change the date to the 28th update alright so task model edit task we haven't created that yet alright so let's create that now this is going to be a really simple method we're just pass, passing in the task ID and we're passing in the, the array of data that we want to update with we're saying where the task ID is equal to ID in the database and then just a simple update and then return true. So let's try that again. All right, task has been updated. So we can only check it out. Uh, we can actually do show to check it out. We can say tasks slash show slash one. Okay, uh, that, nope, that's the need two. Uh, for some reason that's not not showing right. Uh, let's try edit. So we'll say task slash edit slash one slash two. All right, so you can see that parents dinner was updated, the date was updated, so that's good. So we have our show we can show a task, we can add a task, and we can edit a task. All right, so uh, basically the last thing that we want to do is we want to join these two tables so that when we click on my lists and then we click on a list, we want all the tasks available to us. So we're going to have to do a table join uh, to do that, and we'll, we'll be using Active Record to do that. So uh, I'm going to stop this video and we'll continue that in the next one.